As I said in yesterday's video, today I'm gonna talk about children wanting to become YouTubers. So I connected with this IT teacher on Discord and here's a detailed message of what he sent me. Kids are mad keen on becoming a YouTuber, particularly in the lower grades. It has dethroned things like a footballer for Real Madrid or a singer, but even in upper grades, many still express an interest. At the end of the school year after exams, I'll often do a bonus unit on content creation where they need to try and knock out a roughly three minute video a week, I show them the basics of recording and editing software and let them at it. Start of the unit, most of the blokes are full of swagger and bravado. This'll be easy, they crow, and reckon they'll do more than the minimum two 10 minute videos or three five minute ones or something. I say we'll have volunteers for showing their stuff each week. Everyone wants all their mates to subscribe, everyone wants to have theirs up on the projector. In my lessons, they start their planning, downloading, creating art assets, sound effects, etc. At home, then they hit Struggle Street. Noisy home life, so they have to re-record voiceover takes, going unscripted and having to edit out 50 million ums, ahs, etc. Shooting like 50 minutes of gameplay and getting bored watching it to winnow it down to something compelling. Starting strong, hey guys, welcome to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and like, and then going radio silent for almost the remainder. Editing as a lot of work and so on. After the first week of creation, not everyone's got something ready and very few are keen to have theirs up. It is at this stage I lean real heavily into cyberbullying angle, creating versus consuming, and how accusations of cringe are more of an indictment of those who use the term than the punter in the arena. That's very good and so true. Second week more of the same in that there's a bunch that have fallen by the wayside. Often the braggarts are those with no real goal in mind. The quieter kids sometimes shine here, particularly in the younger grade four to five classes where they're less shy of their art. Anyone sniping them in class or the comments knows they'll draw my ire like God of the Old Testament. There will be wailing and gnashing of teeth, their parents involved, and by this stage, most of the class will rally around the creator, even if they're at the bottom of the pecking order. Hearing all of that was fascinating to me. I mean, it makes so much sense that they're all cocky and confident at the beginning, and then when they actually start trying it, it's not as easy as they thought. Especially if their content is just them playing video games and they don't really have anything to talk about. But I think that was one of the biggest reasons why I never even started a YouTube channel when I wanted to. Back in high school, I made a documentary called Cliques. By the way, that's the first video on this channel. That high school documentary that I made actually won a personal project, People's Choice Award. And it was from that documentary and all the praise I was getting and all the fun that I had making that video, I thought, huh, I actually like making videos like these. Maybe not a documentary style again because that was extra difficult, but I liked the editing process. I liked creating something and putting it together and then watching it again and again, trying to make it better. So that's my unfair advantage when it comes to making YouTube videos. I know a lot of people don't actually like the editing part or they don't like the filming part or the scripting part is the hardest for them. Idea generation is the hardest part for sure. I totally agree with that. Like in my high school self that wanted to do YouTube, I probably thought at the back of my mind, yeah, I'd like to make videos, but I have no idea what to make videos about. And so I never picked up the camera or filmed or scripted anything to begin with. So although I'm 33 now and well over a decade later, trying at my dream of becoming a YouTuber. I just have a lot more to say now than I ever did back in my teenage years or even my 20s. But of course, if I could go back in time and tell my high school self who kind of wants to make videos on YouTube, I would tell that kid, hey, force yourself to try making videos no matter how bad they are. No matter how bad my videos would have been as a teenager, I still wish that I started making videos at a much younger age. I mean, look at some of MKBHD Marquez Brownlee's old videos when he was a fetus or Mr. Beast's first videos when he was playing video games. I wish I at least had something like that and just told myself, hey, whatever's on your mind, try and speak it and record yourself and upload it to YouTube. To all the kids who want to become YouTubers, I think it's important that they at least try it like all 
all of this guy's students. And some of them will find that they really don't like the whole creative process. And some of them will find like me that they actually like most of the aspects of it. So I think hearing these stories about kids trying out YouTubing for a month on a consistent schedule is fantastic that they actually get to try it. Anyways, I'm glad that I started taking my channel more seriously, even if it's later in my life. If I never took this channel seriously and started posting on a regular basis, I think I would regret it on my deathbed. So you don't want to live with regret, that's for sure. Today, I watched the Australian Open Tennis Championship and it was not going well for the guy I was rooting at first, but it became much more exciting and a huge comeback so I was really happy about that so that was fun and I got my workout in the morning even though I really didn't feel like it again so see you tomorrow and 1% better every day baby it's one of those mornings I don't want to work out but I said okay let me just at least put on my workout clothes so just focus on putting on the clothes that I can do so that got me here let's do the workout Today is gonna be biceps and shoulders and Tigger's checking me out. So I don't know if I'll stay the whole time, but <laughs> good to have him company. <laughs> Man, that workout was 20 minutes, but it felt extra long today. That was nine pounds on super arm lateral raises and 25 pounds on curls. Mission accomplished. Morning cuddles, Tigger. Good morning, Tigger. There you go, purr purr. Black face Tigger. Tigger. Tigger, Tigger. Oh, poor Mochi, I got you up. And you're stretching. Didn't mean to get you up. Just wanted to film you. Sorry, Mochi. Mochi! I just gave her a broccoli. And look at Tigger! <laughs> So cute, Tigger. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Tigger on my lap. So nice. He did it! <laughs> wow.